What's up, everybody? Uh, Mason124124 here, and today I'm going to show you another GIMP tutorial on how to make uh, one uh, uh, Pokemon sidebar uh, just one side instead of the two sides. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, we're going to start off by making a, uh, a sidebar for uh, Gym 2 Verbank City. Roxy. Uh, so yeah. So if first things you're gonna need to make the sidebar or whatever uh, is apparently uh, I'll leave this uh, in the description. Uh, this tells you it gives all gym leader information. Uh, so here's our gym leader. Uh, basically, you need the pictures, and then you can just copy and paste all this other stuff. So. Uh, as you know, you can you'll just have to go to Google Images, or that's where I go. Or you could just go to, or you could just copy and paste those, but those aren't really efficient. Uh, so we would ser search coughing. And then we would find a good one. Uh, usually the one from Ballwapedia is the one you should go with, or, yeah, right here. So, as I said in my other tutorial, if you don't want to have some specs, go into it and then save the picture. Uh... So once you and then she had a whirlipede. So you would search whirlipede. I probably am spelling this wrong. Nope. No, I think I spelled it right. Oh, so here we go, and uh, you should be PNG file usually is what you should choose. Okay, so now we just have to look at this. So, yeah. So for the GIMP side, GIMP sidebar, uh, if you're doing one, uh, this is for Desmumi. Uh, if you have the full screen like this, uh, uh, what you would do if I just oops, if I import a media thing. Uh, it's right here. I import my this is the regular uh, now this uh, when you uh, finish recording uh, this is the size of the box originally when you have it enlarged for desk Mumi uh, now if you want to make the one side sidebar you want to change the change the dimensions uncheck keep aspect radio and change change this 500 to a 600 press OK now you wanna just go ahead and well once actually once you so this is the picture uh, you can go ahead and slide it over to that side and this will be your your where your sidebar goes now uh, of course you're not gonna want this in the full there for the full time so what you're going to want to do is whenever you're and for before you get to your gym leader uh uncheck main 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 stain main main 
maintain aspect ra ratio, uncheck that, and then just take this and slide it over. So you only have this. So it'll show just the full screen. Uh, so let's say, uh, uh, right, here's. Where's our thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, that right here. Is a gym battle. Let's let's just say that. Uh, so what you would want to do is right there. Uh, go to your zoom in pan. Uh, basically you would just just keep stretching this over till you get sort of close. Uh, probably a little bit more in, like that. And then with your library, you would go to, or clip in, or it doesn't matter, just go import media and find your um, sidebar, which I'll just use this one. Uh, and then you just put it in where, where it would go. So go right here. So then, with the zoom in pan, uh, if you drag this over, it'll be in there. So you would just slide this over like that and then just slide your video over like that. And then put those put those up. And then there you have your sidebar. Just like that. And then you can extend it for however long you want. So you can make it go all the way over there. So then the whole way through this and then it would end. So that's how you basically work. Now I'm going to show you how to actually create the sidebar for this. Uh, so open up a new file. Uh, so we'll just say new and uh, you're going to want Oops, hold on. Okay, that reminds me. You're going to want this by 640, actually. So, I'll put a note by that so you guys can decide, so you don't mess something up. Uh, so, yeah, you want it by 640 by 400 for, or, no. Yeah, six, 640 for, for, yeah, so this would be 640 by 396. And then you would do the same thing for GIMP. So 640 by 396. Uh, you would do 396. Uh, we had a little problem there. Uh, I'm still going. Uh, my pause button's nine, so. Uh, let me pause this real quick. Well, I'm just gonna. Uh, so you want it to be three ninety six. And then that's the same size of the box. So then you're gonna want to go to your rectangle select tool and then just draw any amount of thing like this. Uh, then go down to your settings down here, and uh, you want your size to be um, the original height of the Desmumi screen, so the original recording. So you would make that the same, so you would do it uh, 500 by 3. 
96. And then position would be 0, 0. And then you would just go to your layers, right click and add alpha channel, and then right click on the selected area that you made and edit and cut. So now you could just go to select none. So now this part will be where your one side sidebar will be. Now uh, if you want to color it, you're going to want to go to the blend tool fill. Uh, and select your colors. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a little this. And then black. And then just blend it. Oops. Okay, my fault. Uh, you have to select this first, actually. See, I always forget something, so. You want to try and line it up just right. Then go to your blend tool and just go s and do whatever design you want. I want that up top. Yeah, I like that design. So then, what? So you go to select to none, and then there you go. And then what you would do, because if you're going to make multiple slides, uh, you would go to file, and then save, save, or you can do save as, however you want. Uh, I already have a saved one. So that's how you do that. So once you do that, uh, wherever you saved it, you can keep opening that back up. Uh, oops. Where's my? So locate wherever you put it. Uh, it's nice to keep your things uh, organized. Uh, and there it is. So open that back up, and then there you go. So what you want to do, uh, and it also might, if you save that PNG file like that, like it was, uh, if you open it as a layer, I'm assuming uh, you can just go to uh, find your picture, and it was coughing, so you would locate it, which is in the case. Copying, open it up, and yeah, so it'll all be already be cleared out. Uh, go to the resize tool and then just resize it, and then you can move it and put it like right up here. And let's move it to the other side just to make it look like that. And then, yeah, so then you're going to want to go to your text box and basically uh, put the name in and the level and everything. So, uh, first, you know it's coughing, and the level is 16. So, you would go to, so you would take this and then just draw a line like, oops I don't like that line, draw a line under it and what I basically do is I just do coughing and then level and it's 16. Now let's change that to black and then you have that and then under that you would do 
the same thing and uh type no you it has no held item so you would say no held item oops I forgot the T and we'll change that to black so like that and then you would write the type so it'd be normal no poison and it should the default the oops we'll put that as black and then if for the attacks uh what you can do is just go up to here and then go copy all of the text box and then just copy it and go to make your attack uh, box basically the rest of the sidebar uh and then just paste it and change the color to black and then you have your sidebar so it has all the information coughing level 16 no held item it's a poison type uh attacks it's smog insurance tackle and clear smog uh so then uh when saving the file uh if you're in 2.8 you're going to want to say ex instead of save as do export to and then type it so coughing and then save it wherever you want to save it and dot png is probably the best and then export and you want to uncheck save background color and there you, there you go and then if you close this it's saved so you can go in and get the same one that way it's that's why you want to that's why you want to save because if you don't you won't have the same texture or you, you could have a different way and that kind of it's a little bit weird to me I don't know I'm just like that for some reason but there you go so you won't have to do the same process over again so I'm not gonna do uh, the next one so thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time goodbye and actually I'll show you the final result of of uh, this uh, the next one uh yeah so this is the finished product uh uh world p level 18 uh can't fit it all the way across which in case i didn't uh you can just go to the second line uh poison bug and same thing with the text uh so again you would go to not save as uh you could do that in 2.6 but 2.8 you have to do export to uh and oops You would just save as. Uh, Whirlipede. And then just export. Oops, I put, okay. Dot PNG. Export. And uncheck save background and export. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will make another GIMP tutorial soon. Goodbye.